Hello guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Visha and I am a mother and a wife. My channel is about inspiring mothers like myself with cleaning motivation, lifestyle, and everything motherhood. If this type of content interests you, please go ahead and join the family, okay? So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about motherly affirmations. I know we have like our self affirmations that we try to give ourselves, but I want to do like a twist on it and talk about let's talk about mother um affirmations okay and as you guys some of you already know what affirmations is if you don't i am going to leave the definition on the screen here okay so let's get now we know what affirmations are i'm gonna go ahead and give you my and i am looking down because i wrote it on paper okay so i'm going to be giving you my top five self-motivating affirmations that I give to myself daily as a mother because we know if you want mama we know that sometimes motherhood is hard and some days it's easy so let's get right into it number one <laughs> releasing negative self-talk about your parenting skills okay and the reason i want to talk about this is because every day we as mothers we compare ourselves to the next mother so i'm going to give two examples mother a over here she got her life together and she does a phenomenal job with her kid and we have mother b over here and she doesn't quite yet have her life together but she is still a phenomenal mother both of these women have in common that they are both phenomenal mothers and we as mother just because we see that figure a has it like she has it down pat she has it right she's organized she's like that like i got it mom we will start talking negative about our own mothering skills because a makes it look good and b we're like oh my god how can you get up every single day and put on makeup and just go about your day you know so it's don't talk negative one thing about it you don't know what a is going through and a don't, does not know what b is going through so do not talk negative about your parenting skills okay don't talk negative about your parenting skills you got this Number two, loving the, I'm looking down, so I'm sorry. So number two, loving the mother that you have become, loving the person that you are deep down inside. I can tell you one thing. If you are happy, your kids are happy. If you are sad, your kids are sad. If you love yourself, nine times out of 10, your kids are going to love you 10 times more, you know? So just loving who you have become as a mother if you don't like what you have become as a mother it's up to you to change it nobody else is going to change it for you it's up to you to change it so number two loving yourself as a mother so number three accepting accepting yourself unconditional with all the flaws that goes back to number two loving yourself so number three is accepting, accepting who you are. If you know you're a procrastinator, accept that. If you know that you can organize something like really, really well, accept that. If you know that you are OCD and you know that you like your house clean, accept that. If it's going to drive somebody else crazy, who cares? Accept who you are, flaws and all. Accept that. And if you don't like it, change it. But accept that. Number four, oh my God, this is me because I do it all the time. Um, am I enough as a mother? Am I enough as myself? Am I enough? So just deep down thinking to yourself, am I enough? Do you need more from me? Am I not giving you all the attention that you need? Am I not spending all the time with you that you need? Am, am I not loving you the way that you need? Knowing that deep down inside that you are enough. Because your children 
are going to love you forever no matter what you're they may get mad at you because you showed a little disciplinary action but they will love you no matter what even on your lowest days i would guarantee you your child will love you so don't never think to yourself that you are not enough and that's something that i have to tell myself too because i ask my child all the time it's like do i yell so much do do i spend a lot of time with you do you feel like i'm not do you feel like i'm there like do you feel like i'm existing right now um and she's like yeah mommy <laughs> She's all like, yeah, mommy, like she's confused of why I'm asking these questions is because I feel like I'm not doing enough, but don't never feel like you're not doing enough because in their eyes, you're doing everything. Okay. Number five, my last tip, number five is I got two more tips because one just popped up in my head. So number five is learning your child's love language and people do not understand how much that your love language matters i know a lot of people do like you know horoscopes like i'm a pisces my daughter's a scorpio the perfect match right but no learning your child horoscope my child loves she is let me get the book. I have the book, The Five Love Languages, right? By Gary Chapman. Nevaeh is C, receiving gifts. That's just who she is. When she receives gifts, she feels that she is loved. Um, and it, it does not have to be something that's material. Like me just writing her a card or me just like, yeah, me, I'm going to give that example. Me writing her a card. She loves that. Mommy gave her a gift. She loves, she loves love. Like she loves the natural giving of love. Okay. She loves receiving. Let me say that. She loves receiving the love. So I can, I kid you not. I can go, this girl made, we off topic, but she made straight A's and one B on her part card. Ooh, ooh, go to bed. And I asked her what she wanted. She said Takis. Just the simplest things. It will make your kids happy. So learn their. Learn their. Love language. Hers is receiving gifts. And hers is. Um, physical touch. And is words of affirmation. She needs to hear. She needs to hear me. Say, Nevaeh, you did a good job. Nevaeh, you are wonderful. Nevaeh, you are smart. She needs to hear those things. And she also needs to hear, thank you, Nevaeh, for taking out the trash. That really meant a lot to me. She needs to hear those things. She, she needs to hear that. And that's just their love language. Her physical touch and her receiving gifts, they like scored the same. Like she loves for me to hold her hand she loves for me to give her hugs and that's just their love language so once you learn your child's love language you will understand more on how to love them better so i suggest that if you are a parent go get the book the five love languages this one right here is for adults but they do have one for kids and they do have one for kids but if you have the adult book and you have read it from front and back trust me you will like you will know your kid if you know your kid you will know their love language okay so that was my number five tip and my number six tip nobody's perfect being a mother is not perfect we're not perfect mothers we're not we're not perfect we're not perfect people in general okay so just knowing that you're not going to get everything right the first time the second time, the third time, the fourth time, that fifth time, you you gonna get it, okay? <laughs> because you you're not a failure, so you're not perfect, but you also you're not a failure. You're a mother. You keep trying every single day, okay? So those are my six tips to you guys, and remember one thing: to love yourself, love who you are, and embrace it. 
Thank you guys so much for watching and if this has inspired you to even put out your own or to even write your own daily affirmations for yourself and also for you being a mother, let me know down in the comments down below. Guess what guys? We're not alone. We're all in this motherhood together, okay? So the next time you see a mother who looks sad and she looks down, you know, politely tell her you got this like let her know that she that she got this you hear a baby crying and a mom looks frustrated go ask her hey you need some help like we're all mothers we got this and those are my affirmations for today so leave a comment down below letting me know because i want to know some of you guys' affirmations for everyday life in general and in my next video we will be going over some motherlyhood hacks okay until next time and i got the hacks idea from shay's place so thank you for that idea <laughs> so until next time peace